May equals the beginning of the summer fucking blockbuster extravaganza. And this year is no different with lots of hot titles here in May 2012. Back on May 4th, we had The Avengers come out. This is actually the only movie on the list that I have seen. And it's brought to you by, of course, Marvel Comics, comic book bullshit. You know, basically this movie's been teased at for six years. Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, The Hulk, they all come together. This one's brought to you by writer-director Joss Whedon. You may know him. He's mostly a TV guy. He's done a few movies, but he's mostly a TV guy. He writes a lot of sitcoms and shit. When it comes to doing a Marvel Avengers movie, he will not let you down. He takes his sitcom writing skills. He takes the fucking Marvel Comics bullshit, puts it in a blender, spits it out. Joss Whedon, he concocts the best story of any movie I ever see. It's all about all the heroes, Iron Man, Captain America, some chick in a black tight outfit, and the Hulk. They gotta fight an alien invasion. I tell you what. For my money, fighting off an alien invasion, it don't get much better than movies. The Avengers. The best alien invasion movie of the summer. Make sure you don't miss it. Back on May 11th, we had Dark Shadows come out. This marking the 13th collaboration between Tim Burton, Johnny Depp, and a big fucking uh, pile of white makeup. Tim Burton, he loves to get Johnny Depp. They're a fucking great filmmaking team. All their movies are fucking good. Sleepy Hollow, fucking Sweeney Todd, fucking Charlie and Chocolate Factory. These motherfuckers just unstoppable. All their movies are good. And Dark Shadows is no different. It's based on an old soap opera. But don't worry about that. This ain't like a soap opera. This is a great shit your pants, fart fucking joke extravaganza comedy. You're going to love it, man. My advice to you, go see this movie, Drunk Off Your Fucking Ass. Fucking store some crystal meth if you have to, because it's really going to help you get through this fucking, you know, just fantastic Hollywood film that's just jam-packed full of vampire laughs and fucking nut-kicking humor. Summertime is when all the best movies come out. Think about it, man. They bring out all the best special effects, only the finest CGI for May through August. They bring out all the best actors, actors known for their, you know, their really good acting chops like Johnny Depp and Robert Downey Jr. These, these guys would never sleepwalk through a movie. Never. They're going to bring their A games. They're going to make you fucking laugh. They're going to make you fuck. Your side will be hurting once you see these fucking movies. These, hey, don't take my word for it. Go, go run. Go see this shit. I bet you'll come out with a big ass smile on your face and fucking say that was fucking ten dollars well spent. Back on May 16th, we had the dictator come out. They took fucking Borat. I tell you what, this is just another example of why Hollywood films, summer films, are the best. These actors, these writer directors, they stretch themselves, man. They try hard to bring you the best movies out there. This one stars Borat, Wacky Foreigner. You love Borat, well guess what? He's back playing another fucking Wacky Foreigner. That's a fucking original formula for comedy that cannot go wrong. Before, where he had a fucking big puffy haircut, now he has a big puffy beard. You're gonna fucking love it. Dictator, go see it now. It might not have the CGI of Dark Shadows or Avengers, but what it lacks in CGI, it makes up for it in like sight gags with like fake nuts hanging out of underwear and shit. I'm sure they show a bunch of men's asses. You'll fucking love it. Take the whole family, dictator. May 18th, what to expect when you're expecting. I'll tell you what. Whoever thought of the idea to make a movie about six couples of all different races, creeds, and backgrounds and whatever, fucking who are all having kids, all having families, and make a movie about that. That is just fascinating, never been done before, fucking uh, material. I mean, I can't even find the words for it. It's just so fucking great. I have not seen it, but I will see it, and you should see it. Get your $12 ready, go see what to expect when you're expecting. Fucking everybody's in it. Fucking uh, Chris Rock, uh, Catherine Heigl, Cameron Diaz, Burt Young, everybody's in the fucking movie. Run and go see it. Also on May 18th, we had Battleship. When I was a kid, my parents could not afford to buy me Battleship. They could not afford to buy, especially couldn't afford to buy me electronic Battleship. But what they bought me was a little travel size travel ship. It was like some little transformer bullshit. It was these two fucking playing boards that folded up and then they clicked together. One was blue, one was red. You pull it out. You, your buddy goes, he puts the pegs in. He says, you sang my battleship. You take the other one, put your pegs in. You sang my battleship, motherfucker. Never in a million years would I think this would come to the silver screen. Why? Because it's just such a, you know, 
original fucking, you know, there's so much plot and story involved in Battleship. I gotta give these motherfuckers credit. I have not seen the movie, I just seen all the previews for the last nine and a half months. But it looks like they knocked it out of the park. And it, it and this ain't like some Hollywood stretching the truth, whatever bullshit. This is like they did research with the Navy. They cast actors who look like they really could be in the Navy, like Liam Neeson and Rihanna and the fucking guy from True Blood. I mean, if you don't buy these motherfuckers as naval officers, there's something wrong with you. Battleship. And I ain't even fucking told you the best part of it. They took the shit to a whole nother level. Instead of battleships fighting battleships, it's battleships fighting alien fucking spaceships. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? The movie I always wanted to see it. I bet you want to see it too. Get your $12 ready. Or Battleship, the best alien invasion movie this summer. Make sure you go see it. Don't miss it. And then... Just yesterday, the last major release of May, Men in Black 3, starring Will Smith, Tommy Lee Jones. I'll tell you what, it's been so long since they made a Men in Black movie, I didn't think they were going to make it anymore. It's been like 10 or 12 years, you know, I thought, has the story run dry? No, it hasn't. Here's why. Men in Black is just a great franchise of movies because the story is so diverse. The first Men in Black. Men in Black, they, they're they like cops for aliens that go out, they wear fucking cheap suits, and they, they rustle up CGI aliens that are running all around New York. Well, anyway, the first movie revolves on Tommy Lee Jones. He's an old motherfucker. He's tired of chasing aliens. So he goes and he, and he abducts um, Will Smith playing a fucking brash New York cop. He's got a fucking, you know, a P. Diddy suit on, all flashy, fucking glow-in-the-dark salmon colored and shit. Anyway... Tommy Lee Jones goes to someone and says, listen, buddy, I'm too old for this shit. I can't be fighting aliens anymore. I need you to take my place fight the aliens for me. The sequel, Tommy Lee Jones retired. He didn't want to fight aliens anymore. Will Smith is like, man, who the fuck am I going to fight aliens with? He tracks Tommy Lee Jones down, finds he's fucking, you know, working in a post office somewhere. Doesn't even remember that he's supposed to be fighting aliens. So, hey, man, there's new aliens we got to fight. Come out of retirement from the post office. Come fight aliens with me. Tommy Lee Jones fucking did. I don't know how Will Smith fucking convinced him, but he did it. So the third movie. Where are they going to take? You know, the first movie, Tommy Lee Jones, he's on his way out. Part two, they fucking pull him back in. What are they going to do with Tommy Lee Jones in the third one? Where is this great writing going to go in the third one? Well, there's a new alien menace. Will Smith, catch this. He can't do it alone. He needs Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> fucking yeah. But here's the thing. Tommy Lee Jones... In an alternate reality, he already died, so they gotta travel back in time to get Tommy Lee Jones. But Tommy Lee Jones ain't Tommy Lee Jones. He's fucking uh, Josh Brolin, <laughs> and then fucking Josh Brolin plays Tommy Lee Jones, and then later Tommy Lee Jones plays Tommy Lee Jones. But Josh Brolin plays Tommy Lee Jones in the past. <laughs> Men in Black Three fighting off alien invasions. I mean, it's really not a storyline that's been done a whole lot in recent movies. But they did it in this one. This one looks good. So, Men in Black 3, I gotta say, it looks like the best alien invasion movie of the summer. Make sure you go see it. Don't miss it. Alright, so that's it for State of the Multiplex. Now you motherfuckers know what's in theaters. Now you know why you have to go pay 10, 12 bucks, 8 bucks, whatever. Pay eight, fucking 6.50 for a fucking popcorn. 3.50 for a fucking tiny little fucking thimble of soda. Going to the movies, man. Fucking being in with your fellow brother and fucking feeling motherfuckers breathing down your neck, kicking the back of your seat. Fucking, you know, hey, sticky floors and shit. And, and not even sticky from cum. Sticky from fucking kids just fucking pulling shit on the fucking floor and then you go and step on it and you fucking sit in it. Sit down in the seat. Fucking candy bar fucking glued to the back of your ass. I'll tell you what. Going to the movies is a good fucking time. Make sure you don't miss out on the excitement with all these quality May 2012 releases. Get to a fucking movie. Life is too short. You gotta see every single one of these and pay $12 to see them.